All right, we are going to learn our 26th phonogram today, and then we'll know all of the phonograms that are in our alphabet, all the ones that are just one letter. All right, but before we do that, I want to give you a little quiz. I want to see if you can write the phonogram for me that says y it i e What are you going to write? Good. y it i e Now, if you don't remember, you would draw a line below the baseline. Remember? And then after I write it, if you didn't remember, write it in, sing it while you write it. All right, our y it i e is a short line letter, so it starts at the dotted line. This is our y it i e Later on today, we're going to talk about why this is a really special letter. Some of you might already know. All right. Well, we've learned 25 of the first 26 phonograms, and they all had one letter. But our 26th phonogram is going to be our first two-letter phonogram. It says, this is it, and it says, Qua. All right, say that with me. Qua. All right, now by yourself. Good. Qua. All right. So the first letter in our new phonogram is a clock stroke letter. But whenever I have a phonogram that's more than one letter and I'm writing them, I'm going to leave a clock space. So we'll leave a clock space. And it's a clock letter, so we'll start over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock. Curve up, touch the dotted line, curve down, touch 10, touch 8, touch the baseline, touch 4, touch 2. Now I'm going to pull a straight line down to the baseline. I'm going to belo go below the baseline a space, then I'm going to curve in the direction that we read and write to 4 on the clock, and then I'm going to pick up my pencil. All right, but this letter can't be by itself. It always has to have its friend with it. It just can't say anything if it doesn't have its friend next to it. And that one starts close, but not touching, and it's at the dotted line. So we're gonna pull a line down to just below the baseline, curve in the direction we read and write, touch the baseline, curve up, push a straight line up to the dotted line, pull a straight line down to the baseline, and lift. All right, this is our first two-letter phonogram, but we're not quite finished writing it yet. Because any time we have a phonogram that's more than one letter long, we underline all of the letters that go together, and that lets us know those letters go together. So any time we write our qu or any of the other phonograms we're going to learn that have more than one letter, we always underline them to show that they go together. All right, class, what does this say? Good. All right, I'm going to show you one more time, and then it's your turn. So remember, any phonogram that has two or more letters always gets a clock space before and after it. So I'm gonna leave a clock space. My first letter starts over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock. Curve up, touch the dotted line, curve down, touch 10, touch eight, touch the baseline, touch four, touch two. We'll pull a straight line down to the baseline, go below the baseline a space, and we're going to curve in the direction we read and write to four and lift our pencil. But we're not finished. We need to put its friend with it, and its friend starts at the dotted line. So pull a straight line down to the baseline, to just above the baseline, curve in the direction we read and write, touch the baseline, touch four, push a straight line up to the dotted line, pull a straight line down to the baseline, and lift. And of course, I need to underline to show that those go together. All right, get ready to write, sitting up nice and straight. Find your writing spot, feet flat on the floor, holding your pencil correctly. All right, so leave a clock space. Now our qu is going to start over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock. Curve up, touch the dotted line, curve down, touch 10. Touch eight, touch the baseline, touch four, touch two, pull a straight line down to the baseline, go below the baseline a space. Then we're going to curve back in the direction, or we're going to curve in the direction we read and write to four and lift. All right, that's your first letter. You've got to do the second one though. That one starts close to our last letter. 
at the dotted line, pull a straight line down to just above the baseline, curve in the direction we read and write, touch the baseline, touch four, push a straight line up to the dotted line, pull a straight line down to the baseline and lift and underline. All right, this one's kind of tricky, so I'm gonna talk you through it one more time. All right, leave a clock space and start over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock. Curve up, touch the dotted line, curve down, touch 10, touch eight, touch the baseline, touch four, touch two, pull a straight line down to the baseline, go below the baseline of space, curve in the direction we read and write, and two, four, and lift. Don't forget the second letter, that one starts close to the last letter and then the dotted line, pull a straight line down to just above the baseline, curve in the direction we read and write, touch the baseline, touch four, push a straight line up to the dotted line, Pull a straight line down to the baseline and lift and underline. Good job. All right. Now I want you to write another Make sure that you're saying it while you write it and make sure that you leave a clock space. All right. So write your and make it beautiful. Did you remember to underline? If you didn't, go back and underline it now. All right, let's write it again. So leave another clock space and write your again. I know this one takes a little longer to write, so I can take a water break. All right, great job, especially if you remembered to underline and if you were saying the sounds while you write it. This one's tricky, so I want you to go ahead and write one more. Remember to leave a clock space before it and to underline when you're finished and say it while you write it. All right, excellent work, boys and girls. Let's just do a couple more nonsense words to finish this session up for today. So the first nonsense word we're going to write is div. What are you going to write? Good, div. Tell me what sounds we're gonna write to spell the word div. Good, we're going to write d, i, v. And where is my d? going to start. Good. Over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock. Great. So write the sounds in div and say them while you write them. All right, class, now tell me, what do I need to write to spell div? And remember, we've got to leave a clock space before we write a word. All right, and where does my d start? Good, over a space just below the dotted line, touch two on the clock, d. All right, what's next? Good, and my e starts at the dotted line. And what's next? Good, v, which also starts at the dotted line. So if yours doesn't look like mine, make it look like mine. Cross out what you had and rewrite it, saying it while you write it. Now let's read our word. Excellent, we said d, i, v, div. Let's do one more. This one is gup. I think that just sounds so funny. All right, so we're gonna write gup. What are we gonna write? Good, and what sounds do we need to write to spell the word gup? Good, g. Uh, p. All right, so write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, 
Thus, what do I need to write to spell gup? Good g. Just remember that's a clock letter. What's next? Good a. Uh, that's a short line letter, so we start at the dotted line. A. Uh, and good p. All right, make sure your gup looks like mine. All right, and now let's say the sounds and put them together. Excellent, g, a, p, gup. All right, great work. You learned your first two letter phonogram and now you know all of the phonograms that are in the alphabet. Right. This one's a little different because in the alphabet, it's not with its friend, but the phonogram, we always write it with its friend because it can't say anything without its friend, this guy here. So great work, and I'll see you later.